What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about the Wetzel County Museum. So here recently I've been working on a project about the Jennings Gang of Wetzel County and I decided to go to the Wetzel County Museum. Uh, I know, I'm surprised they have one too, and I grew up there. As usual, I'm going to do some talking, I'm going to show you some pictures, and we're going to go through what all uh, the Wetzel County Museum and Hall of Fame has to offer. So like with much of the Ohio River Valley, some of the first inhabitants of Wetzel County were the Adena. Uh, New Martinsville actually had an Adena mound very much like the Grave Creek Mound up in Moundsville. Uh, unfortunately, around 1890, as they uh, built the locks and dam systems up and down the Ohio River in order to make the river more navigable, more easily to navigate, the river level rose and it actually submerged this Adena burial mound. Uh, it isn't without some of its own controversy though. Uh, very much like the slab that was found in the Grave Creek Mound, allegedly the New Martinsville Mound had a 10 inch uh, solid gold statue that they excavated out of it. Unfortunately, when the Smithsonian started sending people to investigate this claim, it kind of just disappeared, and no one really knows what happened to it. When you're doing research on some of the earliest uh, frontiersmen to settle in Wetzel County, names like the Morgans, who played a very prevalent role in settling West Virginia as a whole, along with Lewis Wetzel, uh, the individual that Wetzel County gets its name from, and you also have an individual named Edward Doolan, who is considered by many to be one of the first individuals to have settled in the Wetzel County area. And he's also considered one of the first individuals to be murdered in the Wetzel County area. So... Inside the Wetzel County Museum is the Wetzel County Hall of Fame. Uh, here several individuals are honored, including several community leaders and athletes and musicians. In the 1840s, uh, Wetzel County split from then Tyler County, Virginia, and very rapidly began industrializing. Uh, while it was very prevalent in the early oil and gas industries, much like Ty Tyler County, it also was very prevalent in the glassmaking industries.
There are various other antiquities in the museum, uh, including some original wood paneling and casing. Yes, that is a wooden dragon in that archway, um, along with some pharmaceutical antiquities. Now, on the side of the building is this massive mural that has Bill Stewart, uh, the Wetzel County Courthouse, Hagrid, or some other uh, mountaineer, uh, frontiersman type character. But probably the best detail uh, on the side of the building is the Wetzel County flood wall. Like with many towns in river valleys throughout West Virginia, floods have played a very prevalent role uh, with the history of a lot of these communities. Um, I have, I'm starting to get quite the collection of West Virginia disaster and flood books. There was one published back in, I believe, 2005 uh, called Unforgiving Waters that does collect pretty good pictures and stories from the most recent Ohio River Valley flood. Uh, the biggest flood to ever hit New Martinsville was the flood of 1913, uh, but also up there near the top are the floods of 1936 and 1937. I believe it was the flood of 1937 which was considered a national disaster. Um, one of those, I can't remember which one, it's just referred to as the big one, and basically the Ohio River broke bank from right north of Pittsburgh, all the way out through like Indiana. It was only outdone by the Dust Bowl for uh, most catastrophic natural disaster of the 30s. But that's just a little bit from my trip to the Wetzel County Museum. I definitely want to check out some more of these museums uh, when time allows them. It's really cool that a lot of these uh, smaller museums do kind of spot the landscape of West Virginia. And if you want to learn more about Wetzel County, there is a book uh, just titled The Complete History of Wetzel County. I will provide the PDF down below because it was published in I think like 1903, somewhere around there. And because the author sent a copy of it to the New York Public Library, it has been archived and stored of all the text and books that have been lost to history. The Wetzel County uh, Complete Historical Guide has not been. So one day when society needs it most, I'm sure someone will find a copy of that book. So until next time, uh, don't forget to stay wild and stay wonderful, and I will talk to you in the next one.